Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We're coming to you live from AWS reInvent in Las Vegas, Nevada. Joining me for this segment, we have Peter Ulander. He's Chief Marketing and Strategy Officer at MongoDB, here to discuss how AWS empowers developers in the AI era. It's great to have you with us, Peter. Welcome to Trade hey, Talks. thank you so much. Glad to be here. You got it. And before we get into the strategic partnership with AWS, what does it take to quantify success in a gen AI world? Yo, good question. So I think from, a, from an opportunistic perspective, what Gen AI kind of presents is unlike any other transition we've seen in the market, right? When we all went to mobile and all went to cloud, that was an investment betting on the future. Gen AI is something that can actually drastically reduce cost, increase in efficiency day one when you start using it, but it takes enough kind of, um, what would I say? You, you have to focus on where is the data coming from? How do you operationalize the data? How do you deal with the fact that you know, there's so many signals coming from across, um, uh, across your applications, across your business data? How do you make sense of all that to get to the right answers or the right capabilities that, that Gen AI can promise you? And so I think you know, building the proper foundational models, partnering with companies, yeah, this is like where Mongo and, and, and AWS partner on, on core models like Bedrock all the way up to actual uh, endpoint solutions like our Code Whisper uh, announcement which helps uh, 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 code generation for, for customers to increase their efficiencies. It's about getting in, getting on these standards, understanding that it's going to be open and composable, um, and, and at this stage, because it's still kind of early, it's about trying things out. Yeah, well let's talk about the Mango, MongoDB and AWS strategic partnership. You recently had an, an announcement that you're expanding yeah. it as well. Yeah, yeah. So we've been, we've been great partners with AWS for a number of years. About seven years ago we launched Atlas, the first globally distributed managed database um, uh, in, in the cloud. We did it with Amazon. And today we, we look at the fact that we're, we're available across all Amazon region and services. We're integrated across 60 services, so everything from marketplace integration, identity access integration, integration with a lot of the analytics tools and other data tools that they have, really focus on creating a, that almost first party experience for customers to where they can come in and use not just Atlas, but actually have it seamlessly integrate with the rest of their AWS environment. That's due to the Excuse me, that's due to the fact that we have such a strong relationship both on the technical integration side of things, the, the, the marketing and outreach side of things, and then co-selling and co-engagement with customers to make them successful. So it's been, been really good. Um, uh, it, it's been a good solid set of years, uh, and that's why we bet so much on AWS. And I would imagine leveraging this kind of technology, it allows companies to model out for flexible future Absolutely. solutions. I mean, that's the whole point. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to have to do this all over again and reinvent the tech stack. A exactly, right? And I, especially in kind of this next wave, what we're seeing is this is a fluid, environment, right? The one thing that is static is your data. That's why we believe that having the ability to operationalize your unstructured data in a single common um, uh, OLTP, OLTP database is so key. That's the, the space we play. And having those integrations come real time with all of these new, new kinds of services and new innovations that you see from the hyperscalers like Amazon is so critical to success for us, but also for our customers. What differentiates your solutions? Uh, I think the, the the biggest thing that differentiates MongoDB uh, and kind of it, it, it comes from the ethos of how the company was, was created. Um, we're, we like to say we're, we're uh, built by developers for developers. So we really prioritize the developer experience and we recognize that for developers building applications, it's not just give me a database. They need to understand and have all of these different tools and capabilities to do more with the data, especially you know, in, the, in this fast paced market. So, Taking that stance of A, best reliability, availability, and scalability across 111 zones globally uh, in the hyperscalers with a single UI interface that gives you access to all of that stuff, that starts that simplistic journey. Building on the, on the document model, uh, leveraging JSON and what have you, means that we're actually working in the same language that developers work in versus tables and columns and rows um, and, and various queries. And then bringing in data services like search, like vector search, like uh, 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 stream analysis or stream processing. All of these additional capabilities just build out a platform that gives developers all of the tools they need to build amazing new experiences for their customers. All right, Peter, we appreciate the insight. Thanks for joining hey, thank us on Trade Talk. Thank you, really appreciate it. You got it, and thanks for joining me from reInvent. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.